Hey YouTube, here's a story about the Kennedy assassination that you probably never heard before. 50 years ago, her husband, the president, killed by an assassin, Jacqueline Kennedy and her two young children were no longer legally entitled to a Secret Service detail once President Lyndon Johnson took the oath of office. It was a problem Congress quickly addressed with a statute authorizing protection of the Kennedys for the next two years. The policy of guarding presidential widows later became permanent. As the Warren Commission investigation to John F. Kennedy's assassination discovered, the Secret Service's services at that time were in many ways inadequate. Since that fateful day, how has the Secret Service evolved? It's mushroomed in size. The Secret Service had 350 agents when Kennedy was shot in 1963. By 1968, 600 agents. After John Hinckley shot Ronald Reagan in Washington, D.C. in 1981, the agency had 1,500 agents. Now there are around 3,400 special agents. Whom do they protect? It's a long list. Starting in 1965, former presidents, their spouses, and children under 16 years old began to receive Secret Service protection after JFK's brother, Bobby Kennedy, was assassinated while campaigning for president in 1968. Congress authorized protection with specific limits for presidential and vice presidential candidates and their families. Starting in 1971, the Secret Service was charged with protecting visiting heads of foreign states and other dignitaries. What does all that protection cost? When John F. Kennedy was assassinated, the Secret Service's annual budget was $5.5 million. Last year, $1.7 billion, a 31,000% increase. Most of that money, over a billion dollars, goes towards protecting people and places like the White House and for protection at special events like the party conventions. It costs $18 million just to screen the White House's mail. That's more than three times the entire 1963 Secret Service budget. How many people does it take to protect the president? We do know that there were 29 agents on the ground in Dallas in 1963. A law enforcement source tells the Wall Street Journal that today, 350 special agents are assigned to protect the president. Why so many people? Clues lie in the Warren Report from 1964. The Secret Service, indeed the president himself, were aware of the potential danger posed by a gunman firing from a building. But the agency at the time did little about it. The report reads, the justification for the Secret Service's standing policy is not persuasive. The Kennedy assassination made ignoring a conceivable threat inconceivable. That's the short answer. Do you think the Secret Service has grown too big, its budget too large? Share your thoughts in the comment section and please also subscribe to The Short Answer. Love to hear what you think and thanks for watching. I'm Jason Bellini.